Hey you guys, what's up, Atreidiusaur here, and welcome to episode 8 of my Road to a Max Zerker. For the background video, you can see that I'm going to be killing some green dragons. Um, now, as you might have noticed already by the helmet and the cape that I am wearing, I now have Lunars. That's right, I do have the ability to have Vengeance now, which means the only requirement that I really need before I can cast it is going to be 94 Magic, and I will be getting that as soon as I get enough cash for it, so stay tuned for that, because that means pretty epic PK videos in the future. Now, I'm currently only doing Green Dragons for cash because, you know, they have the chance... It's actually pretty good. You get about 3,000 per kill on each dragon, so that's actually not that bad, and that's actually really good for cash. And not only that, they do drop hard clue scrolls. So, if you manage to get a Robin in one of those clue scrolls, you have, you know, a pretty good amount of cash coming in. So the clue scrolls are, you know, not my main source of money, but they actually add up, especially if you actually get really good rewards, such as the Zamorak pages or, you know, maybe even God Cloaks and stuff like that, because they're a pretty good price. Now, um, what I actually plan on doing is, as soon as Pest Control starts to pick back up, I do want to go ahead and get Void. And it's going to take me quite a bit to actually get it, because I do want to get the Void helmets, all of them, including the uh, Void armor. So, essentially what that's going to do is help me out when I'm actually training. Because my main strength and attack training spot that I'm probably going to use is going to be the uh, Guardian Gorillas, I believe. Um, or it might just be the Gorillas that are on Apatol that are near the altar. So I'm going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage to them while simultaneously not spending any money on prayer. So that's actually going to be a bit more helpful. Now I do just have to, you know, actually watch out a little bit because I do know there are poisonous spiders there. So, you know, that's something I'm going to have to look out for. But um, I'm actually really, really happy because now there's only really two goals that I'm actually working towards at this moment. Uh, one of them being Void, and one of them also being a Fire Cape. So, you know, once I get all of those, it's going to be all seriousness, just focus straight on, you know, training attack, strength, training prayer, training magic, training range. It's just going to be strictly on training, because it'll be so much easier for me to actually get level ups, because I'm going to be dealing so much damage with the Void. Now, a lot of people are going to say, why get Mage Void? Well, one, it's almost as good as Mystic, so, you know, there's my argument there. Two, the more accurate you are with your spells, the easier it is going to be for you to deal damage whenever I'm doing Bursting or something like that at, you know, Skeletal Monkeys. So, more accurate, more damage on targets and stuff like that, much better for XP. Now, in terms of cash, um... As I stated, it's not really that easy to make cash in 07 at the moment, unless you have, like, really high Slayer. Of course, then you could just camp Abyssal Demons. But, you know, in the end, that actually does cost money, too, especially if you're low defense, because you're having to use Prayer to protect you from the Abyssal Demons. So, Dragons seem to be a really good source of cash for me right now, and that's what I'm actually probably going to keep doing for the time being, because it really helps out, especially, you know, Especially if you don't get attacked or PK'd or anything like that. Now, the guys that are here, they're actually being pretty cool about this because they're not actually uh, trying to attack me or anything like that. The only guy here that can actually attack me is the guy that's in the Black Dragon Hide Chaps, the um, Adamant Plate Body and stuff like that. But he does have a whip, so he could actually deal quite a bit of damage to me. Especially with him being about 6 levels above me, because I believe I'm 78 and he's 84. So, about six levels above me, yeah. So, he could have actually potentially killed me if he really wanted to. But, you know, not really much of a point, especially since I'm not losing anything. But, here pretty soon, once I get to 70 attack, and I can get my Abyssal Whip, and I get my strength up to around 80 to 85, I will start doing PK videos. Even though I'm going to be at a hindrance, because I'm not going to have uh, Vengeance just yet, I will eventually get it. And this is, you know, pretty much an annoyance with green dragons. You have two people that are there, and whenever you go to finally attack a dragon, they attack it before you do, and it, it gets a bit annoying. But, you know how it is, guys. We deal. But I do thank you so very much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy the commentary and you enjoyed the video, then feel free to leave a like rating. 
If you're new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider. I do put out pretty good content. I do put out Let's Plays as well as RuneScape videos, and I will start bringing back my EOC guides, so stay tuned for that. New episode of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin on the way after this video, and I thank you guys so very much for watching, and have a fantastic day. Peace, guys.